The house stands alone in a world bereft of human touch, performing its daily routines without anyone to witness them. The house is fully operational with advanced technology. Hi, I'm Siri, your personal assistant. Today is July 27, 2026. The weather forecast predicts clear skies with a high of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The time is 7 a.m. playing the wake-up song. Breakfast is served. Please enjoy your meal. It is now 8 a.m. Time for the morning news. The time is now 6 p.m. Mrs. McKellen, which poem would you like this evening? The house is silent. Since you express no preference, I shall select a poem at random. There will come soft rains by Sarah Teasdale. There will come soft rains and the smell of the ground and swallows circling with a shimmering sound and frogs in the pools singing at night and wild plum trees in tremulous white and not one will know of the war not one will care at last when it is done not one would mind neither bird nor tree if mankind perished utterly and spring herself, when she woke at dawn, would scarcely know that we were gone. As the recording ends, the house continues its routine in silence, oblivious to the absence of its human occupants. It is now 10 p.m. Time for bed. Power outage. Malfunction. Malfunction. Battery low. Battery low. Three, two, one. Saddened by the destruction wrought by mankind, a small group of beings called the interbeings emerge. They are wise and gentle and appreciate the interconnectedness of all things. Friends, there's a sense of eerie tranquility, the passage of time without human life. Can you feel that? This is scary. If humans were to go extinct, what would the Earth look like? The absence of human life renders advanced automation meaningless. The irony is that advanced innovation and technology have destroyed humans rather than saved them. Technology can make the world we want but cannot be sustained without the humans who know how to use it. This chilling portrayal highlights the importance of preserving and cherishing life to prevent such a dystopian outcome. But how can we do that? Bhumi, who embodies the philosophy of interbeing, encourages others to recognize the relationships between themselves, nature and all living beings. of a flower, we realize it embodies everything. Within it lies sunshine, clouds, earth, minerals, and even our consciousness. 
time, space and all elements of the cosmos converge to allow the flower to manifest as a marvel. Indeed, the flower is a microcosm of the universe. Bumi, through your words, you have painted a picture of how a simple flower is not just an isolated being, but rather a manifestation of the entire cosmos. Let's give people of this world a second chance to lead lives filled with greater compassion and mindfulness. Bumi steps forward. She possesses a magic paintbrush that glows with a soft ethereal light. She paints and other interbeings join. With each brush stroke, they transform the darkness into vibrant colorful landscapes. capacity to begin anew and co-create the cosmos. We might think the future is not here yet, but if we touch the present moment, we can touch the future. The story of our lives is one of interconnection. So friends, I urge you to nurture this world with the power of empathy and interconnectedness. Let's together transform the world into a place of beauty and unity. 